Welcome, welcome here on I need help at C squared. We're gonna look to this example of finding horizontal and vertical asymptotes, and also we're gonna try to use limits to describe the behavior of this uh, rational function. So let's start first to these vertical asymptotes. As you notice. As you notice, vertical asymptotes are vertical lines given by non-removable discontinuity. How do we find those non-removable discontinuity? We're going to take the bottom of the rational expression, the denominator, which is x squared minus x in this case, and we're going to make it equals to zero. And we're going to need to solve this quadratic equation. And as you notice, the first thing I do, I use GCF. Right, GCF, greatest common factor, and factor out uh, x squared minus x. And then we have a product equals to zero, so using the zero product property, we're going to make the first factor equals to zero, which gives us the right away x equals zero, and the second factor equals to zero. So zero product property, which is going to give us x equals one. Yeah. If these two guys are non removable which they are, then they are the vertical asymptote. So x equals 1, 0, I'm sorry, and x equals 1, yes, they are vertical asymptote. Then let's move to the horizontal asymptote. For the horizontal asymptote, we have three cases. This one, this one, and the bottom one. For that reason, we need to look to the degree of p of x, the top of the fraction, the numerator, right? And here, the degree is 1, right? And the degree of the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, that will be 2. So, which case we are in? We are in this case, right? The degree of p of x, which is 1, is less than the degree of p of x, which is 2. So y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. Pretty easy, right? If you know these three choices. Eh? Now, uh, by the way, we have here the picture, which uh, allows us to see all those asymptotes, right? We see the x equals 0, x equals 1, and also we can see y equals 0. Now you notice the window is a very interesting one, right? It goes from negative 6 to positive 6, and from negative 25 to 20. So sometimes you need to be able to adjust to see your picture. Okay, so now we're going to use the limits. And here we have a, a bunch of limits. Let's start with this one. In fact, with these two. So this, the first one says limit when x approach infinity of f of x. That means what's happened with my function when x is getting larger, larger, and larger. And you notice the function is going down, 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 down. It's not going to cross that horizontal asymptote. That limit will be 0. And what about the second one? The other one means the other way. What's happened when x is getting smaller and smaller and smaller? And you notice, you notice the, the green graph is getting closer. He, in fact, he crossed the horizontal asymptote, but he's going closer to the horizontal asymptote. I think it's going to be zero. Oh, and we have a couple more, in fact, four more. Which one? The one that goes to zero, right? Zero minus. And 0 plus. Okay, so let me clear these uh, things I have here and let's take a look to the picture. Okay, so 0 minus means I'm going to go close to 0 from the left side. And what's happened when I go close to 0 to the left side? The graph is going up on the left side of that vertical asymptote is going up, that means positive infinity of j infinity. And what's happened when I come from the right side? 
from the right side. In fact, let me do that here. Okay, when I go here, you notice the graph, the graph is going down. And right here, it's negative infinity. Similar, we have two more limits. One is going to be what? One minus, right, so to the left of one, and one is going to be one plus to the right of one. So let's see. Again, if we clear these arrows and see what's happened when we go close to one, right? Let's draw the vertical asymptotes from left side, right? From this side. And when you go from this side, you see the graph is going down. So it's going to be negative infinity. When we're coming from the right side, the graph is going up. That would be positive infinity. This is a way to describe this uh, rational function using limits and asymptotes. If you enjoy this video, if you learn uh, about these vertical asymptotes limits, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you.